Hey guys, how are you going? So this week we're going to be talking about Pride Week and whether or not we think that it's doing more or less damage to the gay cause. So I personally think that it's kind of a double-edged sword. I do think that as far as the straight community perceives the gay community, I think that Pride events and Pride Weeks, um, I think that they are doing more damage. And I'm not saying that we should stop. I'm not saying that we should give up. And I'm definitely not saying that they're wrong. But I do think that from the public perception, they are doing some bad things. The reason I say this is, and Nikki very slightly touches on it yesterday with her video. She says that even straight people do do these sorts of acts. Um, she called them, I think, sexual deviants or abnormalities. I'd call them sexual differences. They are normal. They're fine. I would think that a hell of a lot more people actually do these things than what we know about. But the fact is, heterosexual people um, don't do it publicly. We, we take it on board and we say, I'm allowed to be proud, which is correct. And, they, and we say, you know, I'm going to show it, I'm going to flaunt it, and we're going to have our pride parade. I think, though, there has, has been a move in the last couple of decades away from a pride festival that says be proud of your sexuality towards pride festivals that now are be proud of your sex. And I think that's where the public public are getting a little bit um, taken back at because it's gay people who are claiming that they do all these sorts of things in the bedroom, but they're putting them on floats and they're putting them on parades and they're showing that. It's been happening, you know, before these pride parades, um, started happening a few decades ago, these activities still happen, but in the bedroom. And there was less of an outcry. I think that if the pride parades focused more on actually being proud about you as a person and less about what you do in the bedroom, I think then it would come down um, a lot more to being normalised and whether or not you want to be normalized, when we're talking about tolerance and acceptance, that's that's the goal. For, for something to become normal, that it's no longer viewed as above or below anyone else. Pride parades also need to start taking into account the straight sexuality. It's something that not many people... I've touched on this before in my own videos on this channel, as well as on my own channel. Um, but I honestly do feel that the more things like pride parades and gay events and all these sorts of things that we have, the more we do that within the gay community or the queer community, the more we're separating ourselves from the straight community. Whenever I go to these, there's huge lesbian um, displays, gay, bisexual, trans is a huge one. But there is very little straight um, involvement within the, the parade itself. There's always straight people there supporting it and all, all that sort of stuff. But when do we actually start incorporating the fact that, hey, if we're going to be proud of who we are and our sexualities, one of those sexualities is being straight. This is sounding very negative and it is sounding like I'm against pride parades and all those sorts of things. I'm not. I've been a very um, active participant in helping to organize certain groups and events at um, some of Adelaide's pride parades. We call ours the Feast Festival. Um, but I do think that we do go about it the wrong way and not even limiting it to pride parades. I think that, um, a lot of the protests and stuff like that, that happen these days, I, I don't think they're the, the way to get change in today's society. The more and more we do it, the more negative connotations people are going to apply to us. And I honestly think that after a pride parade, even that, that guy who strapped himself to all this leather and did whatever he did at the Pride Parade, I bet that the next day, if you saw him down the mall, you would not pick him out for that. And I think that's the more important part. I think we need to focus more about showing that we are normal people and normal people just have a little bit of quirk about them. They have, you know, a, a few differences and there's nothing wrong with that. And it's about celebrating those differences. But I just feel that if in these Pride Parades, all we portray and all we show and showcase are the differences and not the overall culmination of the fact that we are the, we are the same, we are similar with some differences, I think that 
you know, as people do, because it's how our minds work, regardless of people saying how they hate it, but as we do, we stereotype. And if you're looking at a gay or a lesbian and all they're doing is, you know, being the stereotypical what everyone says they're going to do, that's just going to reinforce it. I do think, though, that Pride Parades do a lot of good as well. I honestly do. Um, for a gay person especially, it definitely helps come to terms with your own sexuality. But if we started showcasing more about um, the fact that we are normal people rather than, as Nikki put it, sexual deviants, I think that we would get a lot further in our fight for equality. All right, guys. I'm off. I'll see you guys later.